Everything seems fine, but right now, we are looking for someone with higher education. Just like that. Yeah. You wanted to work. Now you see. So tomorrow you have a day off. Obviously. That's cool. We can hang around and smoke or something. Guys, how it's like here? Pretty chilly actually. It's alright. The first year is the hardest. Yeah. At first you may feel that something is missing. And after some time you just lose track of time and you just stop thinking about it. It was different for me. I didn't give a damn about anything, and then I had certain moments when I went to bed and I had panic attacks. Sometimes I was waking at night with my heart pumping. And? And nothing, I figured it was better than losing your health working yourself to death. Based, I had the same. I'm telling you man, these normies spend all day at work in some corporation, just to have a chance for a better future, and the truth is that nothing is certain. Yeah. Of course, it is, people work all their lives and what do they get? Not even a thank you, just get kicked out to their job after all years of hard work because it is better to hire some younger worker in your place for whom there are subsidies. In fact, let me tell you this, humans don't need as much in their life. Tell him bro. Well, I have easy access to tap water, there is the internet, girls are also there, food whatever how bad is, you will not die of hunger anyway. So why even bother? I can live at my own pace. And I don't need too much. But you still live with your parents. And what? You are dependent on them. Without their help, you would not have as easy a time as you have now. I would have. I would get a pension or dole. Pension? You haven't worked a single day for 30 years. I had a job, on holidays in 2015. And how was it? Not so bad. I remember that after we closed a bar, we always take all unfinished bottles, and went to house parties with them. I saved a lot of money with that, oh yeah those were the best days. But she's still hanging around at the back of the high school. Yes, but now it's something else. Why? It's a bit of a hassle when you have to buy all alcohol every time. And it doesn't bother you somehow? What do you mean? Being a neat. No. I support you on that statement. Aren't you ashamed? What should I be ashamed of? You know, this. In front of family, and friends. I'm not seeing my old buddies anymore, but if something happened I have always an excuse for any question. Like what for example? Crypto. Right. And you? My father got used to it. My mum sometimes take a jab at me, but I found a way to slip under the radar. For five years? Yeah, easy peasy. Teach me master. Somehow I can't believe you can just slip under their radar for a half a decade. It is pretty easy actually. At the beginning. After his work, my father just stood at my door and stared at me menacingly. Later, they started to talk with me about my future at the table, so I just started to eat in my room. Then I found out that if I was polite and did all the chores, they would have nothing on me. I quickly realized that all their talking about my lack of work starts with either dirty room or left dishes. That's why you have to be smart and agile like a dragonfly. Avoid blows, and do not respond aggressively. If they enter your room and try to talk to you, just nod and let them speak. Later, they won't feel like sitting with you anyway, and they'll go and do their own business. Very good plan, very nice. Years of practice. I don't know if it's such a good life plan. What is better? Working all day long just to pay taxes on some strangers and their children. What children? How many times when I leave the house I see these mothers and their four or five kids running around like wild animals. Each of them probably gets some kind of state aid for a large family. And sometimes they even get divorced on purpose and shacking up together just to collect additional benefits for single mothers. Yeah, paying for someone else's children is a form of cocking. Are you a cock? No. Well, neither am I and I'm not going to work my ass off so some strangers have more than me. And what will happen when your parents will not be able to pay for you, no one lives forever? My parents are in their mid-fifties so they still have time. I don't know how old my parents are. Okay, but when they are 70 years old, what then? 
Are you going to be afraid that it's maybe it's their last day? Who lives only 70 years nowadays? Average is what? 85? 90? It can't be that high. I once heard that there was a woman who lived 110 years. Well, that will be 50 years of receiving a retirement pension. My parents are still working so I still have some time. My mother earns a lot, she will have a high pension. I live alone. What for? Go back to your parents and tell them there is a difficult economic situation, inflation, and such, and just chill for a few months. And then? Time will verify. Being this carefree must be nice. Of course it is. And why stress? The government wants you to be under constant health problems all the time only for you to die prematurely, so they don't have to pay you your pension. Like in the case of your parents. If you don't like it just go on and work all day in your low wage job, so I can have more tendies. Apparently so, but I'm not going to flip burgers for the bare minimum. Well, college spoiled all of us. A little bit. So why don't you just join us? Come on, it'll be fun. You will meet new friends, we'll sit here, talk and pirate a few games, it'll be fun. And then? Whatever happens happens. I agree, it was fun at first. I was able to do things for which I had no time before. Everyone is rushing forward, and I'm standing still. No goals, no meaning, just pure fun, or so I think. The morning coffee at 12 o'clock tastes a little different now, more bitter than sweet. Can I go back after all these years? My CV has large holes in it so it will be very difficult to explain to my future employers. Well, I have to go back to my computer. The internet won't watch itself. Was it worth it, son?